Hello, this is Emily Lesky. In my last video, we visited a group of Mangyan tribe in the Talipanan area. Today, we are on a quest to find members of the tribe living in the mountainous regions of Puerto Valera. They live in remote areas and have very little connection with people. Our trip started with the drive to the mountains by car, and then we rode in a cart pulled by the water buffalo. We went through the jungle, and then cross the rivers by foot. Our mission is to bring some food to these people. On the way, we pass by the beautiful Tamara Falls on the highway, and then we headed to the Tukuran Falls. Like all other outreaches that we have done, our trip starts at the market where we shop for the food. Canned goods is the most convenient way to give away. We shop for the basic foods such as canned sardines, fruit cocktail, corned beef, and drink. These guys are very efficient and fast when it comes to packing, and they will even help you load up the car. down the street from the Tamara Falls to do the packaging of, of the food that we are going to be giving away. Here's our first recipient, the lady that's taking care of the bathroom. To use the bathroom, we have to pay like five pesos. And that's the normal here, you pay for using the bathroom. Anong pangalan mo? Elena po. Elena? Oh, nakatira dito kayo? Oh, nakilagisiyad lang po. Oh, okay. Uh, anong pangalan niyo? Pila po. Pila? Pila? There were no other places to stop to pack these goods, so we stopped along the road to do it. The surrounding area, as you can see, are mountainous with thick foliage growing. The tribes are scattered throughout the topography like this. So we drove the car towards the area where we were told some of the tribe people were living. Along the way, we handed bags of food to some of the people. Okay. 
brings us so much joy to our heart to see the people smile and also to see little children happy. Thank you. We have finally arrived at our destination in this little village where we will get on board our transportation that will take us to the Tukuran Falls area. It is a cart that will be pulled by this water buffalo. We will be traveling on a dirt road and crossing some rivers. This is by no means a comfort ride like a Cadillac. You will see what I mean as we travel along. We are accompanied by our chauffeur and his family. This is his daughter. Also by our tour guide, Wilma of Two Footprints Travel. And also a group of women from the village who will walk along the way, all the way to the, the falls. Now here is river number two. Riding a Jeep or an off-road vehicle would have been better, but here you get to experience the way these people travel and see the houses that they live in. We met a lot of people along the way and we learned how some of the people make a living, such as this woman walking along the river. Yeah. So this lady here is catching shrimp. Was she washing clothes?
Along the way, you will cross paths with people walking along, and they will suddenly appear out of nowhere, out of the bush. So we called her over and gave her a gift pack. Oh, here we go. We're going down this. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa. The group of ladies that have been following us from the start are still with us. They have been walking a whole distance on foot. destination, the Tukuran Falls. This is the rest stop for tourists. They can buy souvenirs here locally, handmade stuff, or swim in the waterfall. The ladies that have been following us will be glad to sell you their stuff. They will also guide you to the falls to make sure that you are safe. Here is our water buffalo or tamarau as it is called. It's resting up, eating and drinking. He's got to get all his strength back to pull the weight of all of us passengers to return back to the village. Here we are surrounded by jungles all around. I'm sure that there are a lot of wild animals living out there. The local people here went up to the jungle and summoned people of the tribe to come down to meet us and receive some gift packs. There were some that came down, but we were told that many of them have gone wandering away from the home at this time. This man told us that he is a wanderer. He roams around the hillside and he carries with him a bolo. These young men were out hunting for food. They were informed where to go to receive a gift pack of food. Down through the woods. Oh 
Our travels to these mountains has brought about a better understanding of how the Mangyan people live. They are very peaceful people who prefer to retreat and live in their own surroundings. I can understand why. It is so serene up here. It is a place to bond with nature. I hope you enjoyed this video. So please subscribe for more videos. Click the like button and comment below.